What? <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Mark Wing. I'm actually the head of creative for entertainment and events here at Six Flags Magic Mountain. Today, I'm actually going to give you a behind the scenes tour of uh, Toys of Terror 3D. It's actually one of my uh, creations uh, a year ago. Two years ago, I initially went as Toys of Terror. And then uh, last year, we wanted to make it 3D. We wanted to make it a chroma depth 3D. Uh, when I designed the maze, my big goal was what if HR Giger had a toy, uh, toy factory? What would it look like? So that's why you see actually a lot of crazy biomechanical designs inside the maze um, with the Chroma Depth 3D. And those of you who are not sure what Chroma Depth 3D is, it's actually it's a 3D format where we take different colors and we utilize um, special 3D glasses like you see here and create certain colors that become more of your foreground, extra 3D effect, and other colors like for instance blues, greens, purples, they become the background, oranges, brighter colors, especially orange, become the foreground color. So inside the attraction, you'll see all different types of weird designs. Um, we actually had a company by the name of Little Spider Creations, an amazing family. Uh, we work with them a lot, actually, from all of our events. And um, they uh, hired their, we hired their son, David Bronner, and actually uh, one of the world-renowned, uh, what's called, and the godfather of Chroma Depth 3D, Stuart, at stewardism.com. Um, he actually um, is one of the godfathers of Chroma Depth 3D. The stuff that that man can do with color is an airbrush is out of control. So we're going to actually take you guys into the maze itself. Um, we'll go walk through it. You'll see it in show mode. And then we'll come out and then we'll do a little Q&A. And you guys can actually ask me anything you really want about the event um, for this year's event, obviously. I can't talk about next year's. Oh, but definitely, I know. But definitely yeah, this year's event. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever about anything new, I actually designed a lot of it and uh, I am what's called very proud of what our team has created here this year. So, you guys ready to go inside? Yeah. yeah. Yes. All right, well, once we get up to the main entrance, I'm gonna ask you to put on your 3D glasses and we're gonna begin walking through the attraction, okay? Um, I'll try to speak as loudly as possible as we're walking through on some uh, rooms. Uh, you'll notice that there are 12 different rooms from the finale um, being um, a puppetry. If you look up this year, a lot of people have kind of been not seen it, but there's giant hands. Um, let's call it that are above the final scene. We have a monkey toy room. We have the workshop of the uh, lovely uh, yeah, we'll let's call it a mad right. toy maker himself. Um, we also have a doll room, um, aka not Barbie, but it's very pink. Yeah. <laughs> um, and we have some uh, creative, unique rooms as well that you guys will get to see. And definitely wear your glasses throughout the whole tour. You'll see many, many things. You will also. Um, be uh, checking um, throughout the event uh, tonight. If you guys are staying for the event, who's staying for the event? Yeah, sure. everybody. Right, everybody. All right. Can you guys get everybody close what we would like you guys to do is keep your 3D glasses. There's other attractions throughout the park that utilize Chroma Depth 3D. Those of you who came last week, if you notice Full Throttle, we have some giant voodoo mask up there um, right now. Those are all Chroma Depth 3D. Um, it's called voodoo mask. We also have Nightmares is now Chroma Depth 3. That's a new. That's and an update to our current fantasy scare zone. It's all black lighting, which we're enhancing it with Chroma Depth 3D makeups and also scene um, in the area. So are you guys ready to go? Yeah. yeah. Follow me. Let's go. At this time, put on your 3D glasses. Sorry. Alright guys, some 3D glasses on. And we're going in. Welcome to my toy factory. I love my toys, and I would love 
to make your one up. Now you went on to me. <laughs> Okay, guys, if you can hear me, we're in our doll room. This is where the um, H.R. Giger side of things start to really take effect. So if you look at all the portraits on the walls, they're all biomechanical-esque, um, as if we call it the toy master himself just started to mutate his own employees and create his own little works of art. Um, throughout the maze, um, you're gonna, we're going to get deeper in. The chroma depth will get stronger and stronger. And then I'm very proud of our awesome tunnel that we have that you guys will be able to go through. I'm very proud of that guy. <laughs> and I'm uh, very pleased to say that we have one of the best ex like existing tunnels still in operation at the Else related to this year's event? No? Yeah. What's your favorite maze this year? I, uh, my favorite this year, definitely, um, I love toys um, and I love Vault. And I, yeah, I, I, had, I have a hand in a lot of the mazes, but I like how um, thematic Vault is, um, definitely. Uh, Sinister Circuit, though, I directed this year, um, and I'm very proud of that with the I did it in-house with our amazing uh, lighting designer, Zach Moore, and also our composer, in-house composer, Gregory Hine. Um, so we have all three experiences opening tonight, and we definitely want you guys to check that out. These guys actually do work in there as well. I tested it the other night. These actually work during Phoenix, um, which is a Fall Out Boy song. Um, it's our third uh, show for the evening uh, for Sinister Circuit. It works really well, so definitely check it out. Hey Mark, we got a question from Periscope. Yes. What is the longest maze this year? Longest maze this year uh, is still actually Aftermath. Is still our longest. Um, Aftermath is our biggest outdoor. It was my very first attraction I ever designed for Fright Fest. Um, thank you very much. Um, and uh, it's still one of the uh, so SoCal's biggest mazes. So thank you guys for 
keeping it going and keeping it popular. Cool. Any other questions? Yes. How many places are there? Seven. We have seven attra major attractions this year. Um, next year, obviously, we're always looking to enhance, um, but definitely seven this year. We have 14 total attractions, including the new Sinister Circuit and Territory Twisted. How many scare actors have you employed this year? A little under uh, 500. We have 110 walk-arounds this year, <laughs> including the Travel uh, Scare Squad, um, and we have 110 roughly in prosthetics uh, for the event. So full prosthetics. And those of you who always, I always get a lot of questions about the prosthetic side of things. Um, each prosthetic actually is created every single night for the um, same performer. It's a new prosthetic every single night. Each prosthetic takes about seven hours to create, and it's all done in-house by Scott Ramp and the screen team. Um, and we are very proud to work with that team, and definitely um, they work their butts off uh, to get this event and make it look movie quality, makeups make it look amazing. So thank you to them. <laughs> cool. Any other questions? Okay, so uh, back in 2008, I first came here uh, for Fright Fest and it got me addicted to haunts. I'm just curious, what haunt got you addicted? Wow, <laughs> that's a good one. Um, when I first came into the position, um, we took a trip down to Universal and La Llorona was one of the most beautiful mazes I've ever seen. It was well um, over at Universal um, Horror Nights and it went to Florida the year after. Um, but that inspires me. Stuff like that, other designers, other things, I let's call it, people think that we have this competition and we don't. We're actually really, we're all good friends. And it inspires us to definitely, let's call it, um, go bigger, better, more detailed. That's what's, that's what's important to us, making sure that we create an immersive environment for all of you guys to enjoy. So it takes you out of from the day-to-day -day, um, monotonous outside life and we put you into these dark, sinister environments. And that's our goal. Thank you. Yeah, you can really tell the camaraderie. You guys had a scare of light when you guys were on stage together. It was really awesome. Amazing people. A lot of those people were people that inspired me to get become into this position. So. Cool. Any other questions? Is there any future plans to do like a, like a, a ride through? There, oh, we're always um, we always talk about different types of attractions and stuff like that. Obviously, um, what we fit we feel is best for the company at the time and what will appeal to our audience. We always pick that. Obviously, um, there's always potential definitely for. And if you guys have not seen um, the new, uh, let's call it a uh, Call of Duty Zombie over at Apocalypse, um, that's kind of something that we're looking at potentially for future endeavors and stuff like that. Um, but it's to create an immersive environment around one of our major attractions and we always as a company look at stuff like that So hope, uh, hopefully in the near future we will do <laughs> stuff like that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I was asking if you were holding a selfie stick and I'm like, oh, 3D glasses <laughs> 3D glasses, no selfie sticks <laughs> Alright, any other questions? No? Well, I'm going to be here all night tonight if you guys happen to see me don't hesitate to stop me. Um, if you have any questions whatsoever, I'll be willing to answer them. Um, but uh, definitely um, enjoy this evening. Um, it's uh, This event this year is definitely more towards the actual scare zone instead of the major indoor attractions because we want to make sure we appeal to all, all audiences and definitely everybody that's in the park so that it's, it's an immersive environment, period. Um, definitely see Territory Twisted in our lovely new giant tarantula um, Arachnid Spider Entry Portal. Uh, definitely check out Sinister Circuit and all three experiences in there. And uh, the enhancements that we've done in Nightmares and just throughout the park, you'll notice that the lighting has been enhanced this year. Demon Zor has gotten new tracks and also <laughs> some definitely some lighting enhancements that better fit the theme that we're going for. So I would say definitely just enjoy it, have fun, keep coming back because we love having you guys. All right. Thanks, so, Thank you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. So we're gonna escort you on this way. And don't forget, guys. 420 out front of Scream for the Twisted Colossus tour at 420. So if you guys on Periscope, we'll be. Uh...